here with Patrick Paddy in Amsterdam. I really didn't know how to start this video, didn't know how to get back to vlogging. And then on our way to the conference, to IBC 2024, I decided to just talk to camera. Uh, Amsterdam, never been here. Beautiful city from what I've been able to see so far. Uh, but we're here mainly for the conference and Potoy and Render Network team. We're hanging out together, sharing experiences, uh, watching what's new in IBC, specifically in Maxon booth, to see amazing ZBrush update on iPad, to talk about, you know, the significance of Render Network supporting Cinema 4D files natively, as well as Redshift, which should be big. I'm working with the uh, Autoi team for some time on improving Houdini Solaris Octane plugin, and it's amazing. Big things are coming. For now, though, just enjoying this. of these conferences is not as much to witness new tech but to communicate with like-minded people uh, it's a hardware exhibition mostly you know cameras transmitters monitors monitoring uh, thingies uh, and a few software developers like Blackmagic Adobe Maxon uh, people coming here to meet like-minded people to expand their networks that's what we're doing. I met Matthew, the developer of the whole render network. I accidentally met Rich from Render Boxes, my old friend. Look at that. Another thing to do on conferences is talk to CEOs of the companies you're interested in, like I just did with Dave, uh, the Maxon CEO. Amazing guy, amazing answers to all my questions, all concerning questions. I did ask on my Instagram if you have any questions to the CEO of Maxon. Uh, we consolidated all the questions, yeah, asked yeah, them. Yeah. They kindly answered all of them. I think we have clarity on everything. What to expect, what's going on, what's going on with the pricing policy, uh, and if it's getting improved. We have an answer that though they don't plan to introduce tiers as such to the pricing. They uh, plan to consider the region in which the user is based. So that's big. You're not paying the same price as in US if you are in, I don't know, Lithuania, Latvia, countries like that, which is cool. One of the things I particularly enjoy about the Amsterdam trip is the opportunity to hang out with my boys. Andre, you remember him from the Manchester vlog? I think it was the video called Plants After 100K. He's here helping me out with cinematography for, for the client, for the conference. And then Dmitro. Dmitro is hopefully the guy who you will see more on the channel. He's a blender artist. Fantastic addition to the company. Really love working with him. A few words uh, about my collaboration with Ottoy and what's all that about. We spent quite a few years mastering uh, the creation of really massive environments. All the complexities of simulations, uh, instancers, a lot of assets like hundreds of unique trees, buildings, crowd, all that thanks to Clarice and Houdini. And then I forever missed the look of Octane. And I had an idea that thanks to Houdini and Solaris, I am enabled to use Octane. And I got a grant that sponsors uh, my whole company, the team, for a whole year to perform a research that will prove the concept, basically, that you can use 
octane in the Solaris context divide your scene into the renderable pieces and assemble something big. A lot of progress on that front. We have results. Maybe I'll include it in this video, maybe not. But it works. It works. I have direct access to developers and the team who helped me to eliminate non-working areas of Octane in Houdini. For, for instance, uh, you know, when you have hundreds of trees with the, that are exported with the same rules. You could, in theory, build one single shader, put certain syntax in the textures, and the trees would shade automatically. Uh, I found that uh, this particular really specific thingy is not working in Octane. I reported it back, and the guys quickly fixed it. That's what we're doing. And yeah, there will be more uh, conference vlogs because we have uh, a few planned. I actually attended uh, a few already in Spain and in Stuttgart, FMX and Mundos Digitales, but I didn't properly record anything or report anything from there. Uh, it's a fun experience. I advise anyone uh, who's interested in networking to attend these, these conferences. IBC is actually free. You just need to register in advance and you can enter for free. Met a couple of fans, uh, quite grateful for the support and all the warm words. It's been quite a few years and the subscribers count is still high. I appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you. Stay tuned because uh, definitely more content is coming. I'm back. Peace.